Welcome back to the third installment of Hello, New Dino. I know this series isn't particularly popular compared to some of my others, but I enjoy doing it so much. I have so much fun with doing the research and the art and the studying of anatomy and getting to read uh, scientific journals and it's a lot of fun for me so I'm going to keep doing this. Uh, this one was this one was very much a hassle to figure out because the anatomy was just wonky especially in the pose I decided to put this critter in being all rearing up and landing and all that stuff I drew it originally on the computer, and I went over it like a good six different times just to kind of figure out this anatomy because I kept wanting to give it um, like a bird chest, but it didn't have a bird chest. This beauty of a critter is the Ambopteryx longibrachium. Ambopteryx longibrachium. Ambo being uh, two, and pterix being wings, and long ye brachium uh, having to do with having a long brachium. So the Ambo pterix, which is such a lovely name, I love it, um, stands for two wings because this is a dinosaur with feathers. And bat wings! Oh my gosh, bat wings! You guys don't realize. I mean, because you might realize. I mean, I'm telling you about this. Bat wings on a dinosaur is crazy because up until the Yi Qi, which is another dinosaur that was found in China, we had never had any evidence of bat-like wings on dinosaurs. Um, some people might be saying, well, pterodactyls had uh, skin flap wings, but the style was very, very different. On a pterodactyl, the arm reaches out and it's, in f it's an elongated pinky bone that attaches the skin in one long piece to the body. So in a lot of uh, pterosaurs, they actually had their hands still available with the wing attached just to the pinky and the back of the arm and the elbow. When you think about a bat wing, the the fibers, or not the fibers, the, the flesh, the skin for the wings is between all of the fingers. So they're in different segments for every space between the fingers and the bats, if they're lucky, have a little hooky thing of like a singular finger. Ambopteryx had one finger between the end of the wing and the body, so its wing was actually in two separate sections, rather than like a pterodactyl where it was just one singular section. Meaning that this evolution of this type of wing not exactly, but it's happened multiple times in the evolutionary history of the world in both reptiles and mammals, which is awesome. And then you add the fact that this thing also had feathers. With the, the fossil they found of this guy, it was kind of pressed in a way that you can very distinctly see uh, lots of neck feathers along this thing. It also had uh, feet very similar to that of like a songbird with the forward facing toe and the backward facing toe. So it's obvious that this animal lived in trees uh, for a lot of its life. Perching, specifically, it's like a perching foot. But by its shoulder structure and, and the way that the chest is to hold the muscles, it didn't flap its wings, it was a glider. 
So it was not like many of the gliders we have today, which are meant to like hang onto the sides of trees. This creature actually perched on branches and glided. So that makes it a weird combination. Then, on top of that even more, its tail bones were fused in a way that's very similar to birds today uh, with long tail feathers. So we're looking at a bat-like but gliding dinosaur with long tail feathers and songbird-like feet. At this point, you guys can probably guess why I had so much trouble with anatomy is, is there was no easy way to reference this. The actual creature was about the size of a blue jay, about 32 centimeters long. The specimen they found, they're guessing, is like a, a young adult to an adult because of the, the bone growth. Um, and this thing was only supposed to weigh about 306 grams, so it was very small. Thought to be an opportunistic omnivore. In its stomach, uh, it contained gizzard stones, like in today's plant eating birds. Um, those being stones that help grind up and digest plant matter because uh, most plant eating birds obviously don't have teeth, so they need something that will grind up the plant matter. But it also contained bone fragments that were thought to come from like small lizards. Another thing that's really cool is by looking at the structure of the bones of the neck, we've been able to try to figure out its relatives, and I was really surprised to see that its relatives could be the oviraptor. Oviraptors average about three meters in length, where we have this tiny little non-flapping bird dude. And then on top of that, it could possibly be related to this Therizinosaurus, which some people are going to be familiar with, some people won't. It's considered the giant murder turkey because it was this massive, like, 10 meter long dinosaur, uh, herbivore, with massive claws, I mean, fingers and claws as long as a human being. And it was known to be feathered too, so not only is it this giant fluffy monster, but it was an herbivore. And, I mean, it's related to this teeny tiny little birdie dude. It's so cool. I love that genetics. It's so much fun. This guy was uh, thought to live about more than 160 million years ago. Uh, he was found in China, specifically. And honestly, a lot of people thought it was a bird when they first noticed it until they started looking at it a little bit more. Uh, it was found in 2017 outside a village near Lingyuan, a city in northern China. Uh, a city in northern China's Liaoning province. This is the second batwing dinosaur that has been found in China and somehow something to do with the minerals or something, but when we are finding these dinosaurs in China, they are extremely well preserved. We're seeing feathers, we're seeing membranes, we're seeing all of this stuff that we normally don't see in a lot of dinosaurs. So not only is it exciting that we're finding them, we found two of this extremely rare that no one thought would be in existence. Uh, the, the species is called a Scansoriopterygid. Scansoriopterygid. Um, are the, the bat-like wings, the, the Yi Qi, uh, was the first one discovered in China. So it's cool that now we have two examples of this. I really am proud of this painting. I jumped in the background. I inked it so many times on the computer, I was having so much trouble getting it to look right, and then it just came out so nice in the original inking. When I sat down to start my different medias, the watercolor, and eventually the marker, I just really like this piece. It's got a lot of movement. I managed to keep it very dinosaur looking. Whenever I was inking and sketching it out, it was looking a little anthropomorphized, almost like a harpy, and then it was looking too much like a dragon. 
getting some musculature and some bone structure how I wanted it to. I could have made the head a little bit bigger, I could have made it a little fluffier. I think I made the feet a little too skinny and narrow. Not sure if I got the shoulders right at this angle. There probably are problems with this. But it was such a confusing creature, and I highly suggest you guys take a minute, Google this guy, and, and look at some of the other art, because it, it's a fluffy, fluffy reptile bird dragon. That, that's what it is, and it's amazing, and it's adorable, and I want one as a pet, because it's so dang cute. I hope you enjoyed my random dinosaur gushing my random dinosaur gushing. I've been excited to talk about this one for a while, and I had so much fun doing the research. Like I said in the beginning, the artwork I'm really proud of, and well, it's, it's a cool thing, guys. It's kind of awesome. Anyway, let me know if you've come across any other dinosaurs. If you found anything particularly interesting about this guy, if I said anything wrong, communicate with me, ask me questions, look stuff up, tell me I'm wrong, I'm excited! Tell me I'm wrong! I love this. Let's keep this in discussion. Let's talk about this more, let's learn more about dinosaurs together! <laughs> Thank you for watching my video and I look forward to talking to you guys again next week. Bye! Yes, you're a cat. Ow, my cat just used my leg to sharpen her claws!